Hey everybody, this is Christina from Getting Crafty again. Today I'm going to show you how to make the lantern that you saw at the beginning of the video. And I have a couple of templates that you need to download off of the site. Um, it comes in two pieces because it is rather large. So you will need five and a half pieces of basic black cardstock and you will need three pieces of vellum cardstock. So the first thing you want to do is cut out the template, of course. This piece you can only fit on once. But with the bottom piece, you can actually, if you put it this way up against the top line, and then flip it and do it this way against the bottom line, you can actually get two on one sheet. And you need three of each of these. Um, I found that if you do it with a white gel pen, if you go ahead and um, outline it in that and then cut it all out, it works best because you can use the white gel pen later to line things up. So I actually already have mine all cut out and you can see maybe the white gel pen on the cutout. And then after you get these cut out, you need to score them and I know it looks like it would be really hard to score them, but it's really not with this fantastic tool that we have. Let me make sure I can get this on camera. Hopefully. So what I did is I just took this straight edge here and I just pressed it up straight up against the edge. And then you want to score it at a half an inch which is right here at this peak. So I just went this way a little bit so that it, the paper didn't get mushed and then just went ahead and went down. Okay, so you do it on that side and then I did the same thing with this one. I just put it up against the edge and at half an inch I just went ahead and scored down. Okay. So that is the easy way to score, even though it looks like it would be really kind of cumbersome. So after you have them all scored and ready to go, you want to go ahead and put two pieces of sticky strip here at the top of the V piece. Okay, and then you want to flip it over and put some on the scored, the little half inch scored tab. And this one you want to leave the white on the outside, on the inside, okay? So on the side that has no white markings at all, you want to go ahead and put a piece of sticky strip about halfway down. You don't want to go all the way down because you're actually going to be putting the V up a little bit higher, okay? So now, go ahead and take the, red, the two red ones at the top of your V, the bottom part of your V off. Go ahead and line these up, and you just got to keep moving it along until they line up. And then press it down. And then use your bone folder to go ahead and get that seam nice and crisp where you scored them. So as you can see, this is my grid paper. As you can see, this is actually very large. Okay. Now you want to go ahead and pick from the templates or find an image online that you really want to use um, and print that off. Excuse my reach. Print that off with your um, printer. Now this one, I don't know why, the image is actually a really good image, but my printer kept skipping. I don't know what its problem was. And then you just want to center that and put it wherever you want it. And then you take a pencil. And okay, so you want to go ahead and just take your pencil 
and trace inside this triangle. And then set that aside and go ahead and take your scissors and cut about a quarter of an inch on the outside of the triangle from the pencil marks. where the pencil lines and these white lines actually help out. I'm going to go ahead and take some snail. And please excuse my new jewelry that of sticky strip that likes to stick on me. Go ahead and put some snail on all the parts on the outside of these pencil lines. And you want to go ahead and line the pencil lines up with these white lines if you possibly can. Make sure you just have everything lined up the way that you want it to before you put it down. And if there's any pencil marks when you flip it over or anything like that, you can always, you know, erase them. So it's really not that big of a deal. And then you want to go ahead and take the sticky strip parts off that are on the little flaps. You want to take that off. Now I've already got my other two finished and put together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay this one down and I'm going to line these up. Okay, and then I'll go ahead, now that I have all three of them together, I will go ahead and take the red sticky strip off this last one. And this is why I said not to put it all the way down because I already found out the hard way. Go ahead and take that off and then go ahead and line up the last. Whoops. The last ones. And it will go into the shape of a cone. Okay. Now to hang your lantern, your huge Mondo lantern, I'm going to use my wire works from Stampin' Up! from a long time ago. Um, you can use whatever wire you have. You can use ribbon. You can use whatever you feel um, will work for you to make this next part. So I'm going to take some wire ribbon, or wire, some wire, excuse me. I'm going to take some wire pliers that they actually have the ridges so that I can make the swirls. And then I'm also going, excuse me, going to be dropping something. And then I'm also going to use these ones because it actually has the wire cutters on there. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of this out. And you just, when you're making yours, you go ahead and take out as much as you want. I'm going to make a hoop like so, and then I'm going to twist it twice. Make it nice again. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the wire and bend it out. Just like so. Make it as long as the other one. And I'm going to take these and snip that off. The little wire things are just absolutely wonderful and helpful. Then, 
I'm going to go ahead and use my 1 16th inch handheld punch and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch a hole in that side and then I'm going to go ahead and punch another hole on this side and one on this side. So I have one on all sides. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this one through here like so. And then I'm going to take the ones that let, allow me to twirl the, the wire into a circle. If I can get a hold of it. And I'm hoping this is on camera. And it's not working very well with those right now. So I'll go ahead and use these ones. And while these ones don't work quite as well as the other ones most of the time, they are kind of working. And what this does by swirling the ends of it, like I'm doing, is it helps it to stay into the paper. And I'm just making it like a little curly cue. So I hope you can see that. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this again and I'm going to stick it through this side this time. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Whoops, getting off camera again. Sorry about that. There we go, now I've got my groove going. Okay. Go ahead and bend that one up just a little bit. So that only gives me two sides. And you're thinking, what about this third side? Well, that is easy peasy, nice and easy. Go ahead and take another piece of wire. and snip that off. So, and go ahead and just like we did before, go ahead and twist this around a little bit. Hook it onto the neck, onto the neck of this part. And go ahead and twist that around. And then go ahead and take this piece and stick it through there. And now you can see how it's kind of going the way that it needs to. I can probably move this one out a little bit more to take up some of the slack. And then just go ahead and wire these ones around. Whoops. Maybe that's my problem. I need to do it a certain way. Okay. So there's that. That's how you get it to hang. And you can hang it up. Now you can suspend a um, one of the LED lights from this and it'll work just really nicely if you just suspend it um, pretty much the same way with the wire and hang it all down. 
So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you like the little lantern, well, big lantern, and have a great day crafting. Thanks. Bye now.